Mr. White. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful to meet you today. Hope your afternoon's been going well. Thank you. Well, I know you wanted to meet with me, so I'd like to just begin uh, very quickly and just get right into things because I do understand you're quite a busy man and I don't want to waste any time. Uh, first and foremost, I have to say I'm flattered for your invitation to really be here today and to discuss this album with you. I really do appreciate you asking what my thoughts were on this, uh, because I myself, I'm not a music connoisseur. Of course, I'm always happy to give my thoughts and opinions uh, on music. I've certainly been trying to do a lot more listening to music in the last few years, uh, so really it's a pleasure to be able to be here and have this opportunity to chat with you about your album, Boarding House Reach. Uh, as you can see, I do have the vinyl and CD copy in my possession, and I'd like to talk about both. Uh, if you don't mind, and if this is okay, okay. What I would just like to do is really take things from every angle here. Uh, kind of just talk about the design, how I feel the, the cover art is, uh, the overall appeal and aesthetic, in terms of how it physically looks, and then get into the sounds of it. Okay, yes, I just wanted to make sure, because as I said, I understand you're busy. Okay. Uh, well, what I wanted to just say is I really did like looking at the cover of this vinyl record here. Now, I don't know if this was intentional or otherwise, and I don't even know if you do, uh, but I certainly did enjoy the, uh, the placement of the little sticker here. I think it's a very pretty design, though, on this uh, cover, though. Very artistic. I like the color scheme a lot. The blue white and black uh, color combination there. And as you'll see when I do uh, show you the CD there, I like the face on this because it's kind of resemblant of your face, but not entirely. I like that, that's just what I enjoyed. Uh, also on the back, uh, as you can see here for a, a, closer, a closer view, I should say, uh, are, are those, I like, I don't know what, the, are those chimpanzees or are they just uh, would you would you care to clarify? Okay, thank you. Thank you. I've been wondering that. Uh, yes, but I did like the little addition of three of them running about there uh, near the track listings. Uh, but that was just very, a <laughs> little bit of a touch that I liked there. If there was one thing, and again, I mean not to be too picky here, uh, I just wanted to kind of touch upon this very quickly and then I'll get into the music. In the little booklet that is enclosed that kind of has the track listings and the lyrics, etc. Uh, one thing, I understand that you do like using the blue, black, and white design in terms of text and color schemes. Just the one thing, as you, as you can see right here, you, this might already have been brought up to you, but just the blue on black text. I, I know in this lighting it may appear good, but in some cases when there's lower lighting, it's just a little difficult to read and make out. Again, I'm trying not to be too picky here, uh, but that's just the one thing about it that kind of was a, a little uh, a little tough for me. I did like the interior art as well, uh, in the blue and black scheme, with the recording booth there. Yes, I think it's a... Is it a recording booth? Okay, so that's what it was. Uh, yeah, but I, t I did see that the little bit of the mixing board there in the reel-to-reel yeah, reel -reel tapes, I, I thought that was a good addition. I did like that very much. Well, again, I understand that you're pressed for time, so what I would like to do is just offer my thoughts on three tracks from this album that I enjoyed the most, uh, with a few other miscellaneous thoughts. And then again, as I know you have things to do, and I suppose we all do, so then I'll just conclude things with some miscellaneous thoughts. The first track on this that really caught my attention is actually the first on the album, Connected by Love. Uh, originally, I was introduced to this one by its music video. Uh, I, I watched that. I gave it a listen to it again. I, I thought the music video in and of itself was interesting, but I thought the song was a lot more a lot more to it, especially in terms of the lyrics. I thought they were very, very... I just, I just liked them. I think the meaning of the song is right there in the title. It's kind of, again, amplified throughout the song itself. But I just thought it's a good meaning. It's one that I agree with. And uh, I just really liked this song for its lyrical value. And also then when it had this little bit of a, a bridge to it, I just liked how all of a sudden it had this bit of funkiness to it. 
that came in there during the bridge, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, I did enjoy that. I thought that was a very nice addition to it. Uh, the next song that I really, really struck out to me was also kind of at the beginning of this album here, uh, track number three, Corporation. Now, at first, and I mean no offense when I say this, so please don't take any, uh, at first, when I when I heard it, and I heard the first few notes of it, just to me, the immediate impression that I got from it was that it was a somewhat generic-sounding rock tune with some 70s influence. And I was thinking, you know, this might this might do well in, like, a beer commercial or something. I, I know, I know, don't. I, I didn't, I don't mean it that way. Please, let me, I'll, I'll, hear me out. As I continued listening to this song, however, I just like how it developed. At first, it sounded a little cliche, but then it started carrying on and on. And it started taking on this, I would consider even Frank Zappa-esque, uh, type of quality to it, which really just led this to be, I think, a song that was pretty amazing. Some really, really great 70s influence, and uh, something that totally caught me off guard. What, what I thought was a little cliche at first became anything but by the end of this song, and I enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if it really was influenced by Frank Zappa, um, but at least it certainly came off that way to me. In, in any in any respect, I thought it was just a very great 70s influenced tune and, uh, you know, a nice change up, so to speak. Now, the third tune that really caught me was Over and Over and Over. Uh, I know this is the one that's really the premiere of this whole album. Now, it's a single as well. It has also its own music video. Mm -hmm. I did have a question for you, Mr. White, if that's all right. In the music video for Over and Over, I really did like the the dartboard that was in there. Uh, was this was that as was that a result of of you or your design team? Really? Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. No, the re the reason why I bring that up is because. With my YouTube channel and some of the earlier days of it, I would film some videos in my basement and I'd kind of play darts with this dartboard and I thought, my goodness, you know, that kind of really reminds me of that. That was a, a striking resemblance, but th thank you for, for clearing that one up. But that just had a little bit of a, a personal connection. When I saw that dartboard in the music video there, I immediately thought of that and I just thought I knew in this meeting I wanted to raise that point up and just ask that question. Thank you for clarifying that one up. But anyway, that's a mere technicality. I just enjoyed that for personal reasons. Uh, in the music video, it had a great sound, though. I think uh, it's it's more reminiscent of your work with the White Stripes um, in those days. But it was still very nice, and I enjoyed the chorus, though, especially, because it it's very nice, you know, with the, uh, the, the female vocals, you can say. But I just like how it kind of is so different from your own uh, verses in the song. It's just a nice little change up there. It's a very nice piece, though, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, but those are three songs on it that I did enjoy, if you may, and then we'll wrap things up, because, again, I do know that you're a very busy man, and uh, I just want to offer a few general thoughts on this album. Now, over these last two years, as I kind of pointed out earlier in our meeting, I've been expanding my horizons in terms of music. I've really been broadening them, I've been trying to listen to a lot more music lately, listen to, to stuff that I really wouldn't normally listen to. You know, that's in part due to my radio listening, um, my radio shows, and just my genuine curiosity in terms of it. So I've been trying to do a lot more listening to music, uh, a lot more alternative indie listening, uh, listening to more classic tunes from decades past, listening to more genres, etc., etc., just trying to broaden my horizons uh, in every aspect. Now, as a result of that, I really enjoy this album because of how, how I guess, di diversified it is, you can say. But if there's one thing that I do want to point out, I was kind of thinking, had we have, meet, have, we have met, should I say, two years ago, or well, we'll go further back than that, maybe four years ago, back in 2014, when my music tastes were a lot more confined, when I listened to very certain types of music, would I have enjoyed this album as much as I do now? 
And you know, my truthful answer to that is no. Because at the time, and I think some people will still feel this way, it might be a little overwhelming. I think I would have found this album a bit overwhelming because one track has this sound and another track has another sound. Of course, as you know, it's very, very experimental. And I think I would be a little bit overwhelmed by it. it. might just be a little too much for me at the time. Now at this point, I think if I were to wager, uh, a lot of your fans, a lot of people very interested in your music, uh, and people such as myself who are just trying to, again, broaden their taste in music, would really enjoy this music. But people who might just be interested in top 40 radio, they might be a little a little too overwhelmed by this. I just wanted to raise that point. I'm sure it's already been brought up with you many times, but I just wanted to uh, bring that up, at least in, in the briefest of, of moments there. To be quite honest, though, I like this album. I, no, I really do. I'm not just I do. I like the album. Uh, what I really like about it, though, not just the music, but what I at least interpreted as the message and kind of rationale behind it, because, you see, what I got from this is that you're not doing this for the money. You know, this isn't a commercialized album where every song sounds the same and you're only interested in how much money that comes from it. Yes, you do have two uh, singles that were released, Connected by Love and Over and Over, uh, which I think are done to kind of support the rest of this album, which you're doing because you want to do it. This is what you want to do. You want to do this experimental tracks. You want to combine and really do this almost fusion-esque music, combining all sorts of genres in one song, having some tunes that are spoken word and entirely poetic in nature. I really enjoy that, though. Such a welcome change. I can tell that you're just doing what you want to do with this album. You're having fun doing it, too. You're just letting those creative juices flow. And to me, that really strikes out as kind of the the best quality of this whole album. That you're not feeling like you have to do one certain type of thing. You're just giving everything a go because you want to and that's what you want to do. And after I came to that realization, the album cover kind of took a, a new meaning to me. You know, this might be you. And these are all the ideas that you have kind of being culminated into this one single album. At least that's what I got from it anyway. But I really did enjoy some of these tunes. Uh, some of them, of course, I think with any album, you might not necessarily be a fan of every single song that's on it. But really, as I was listening to this, I enjoyed hearing what I heard. Whereas some songs, again, are, are more White Stripes-esque. Some are complete, like, 70s uh, rock-esque. Some are complete electronica. Some are spoken word. There's a, such an interesting mix it was almost leaving me guessing, well, what song's going to come next? You know, what tune are we going to hear next? But all in all, I just really enjoyed the album. And uh, I just thought it was a very, very welcome change. And please take that as a compliment. And uh, as I always say to my viewers, I always recommend people exercise their creativity if they have it. You know, if they have that creative spark, that creative desire, that they take advantage of that and give it a go as long as it's not hurting other people. And when I saw how creative you were being uh, in terms of this album, it just put a smile on my face because it was just a, a very wonderful, wonderful thing to see. Well, I know time is running out. So again, Mr. White, it's been a pleasure to be here today and to really offer my thoughts on this album. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you again, sir. And uh, it's really just been a pleasure to be here to offer my thoughts. Uh, if you would like to get in contact with me to discuss any other matters, you know how to do so. And thank you again. It's been a pleasure uh, to meet with you this afternoon, and I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your Thursday. Thank you again, Mr. White. It's been a pleasure.